You might find this hard to believe, but I can be a little childish sometimes myself. Yes. You have gum in your hair right now. Noted. This is so unfair. I've lived in this building 15 years, and then all of a sudden they decide they're going co-op with zero warning? It seems illegal they didn't tell you this was happening. Well, it's possible I missed a letter, but I doubt it. Ooh, let's check the mail tub. Mail tub? Nope. No, no. See? It's impossible to find anything in here. It's not my fault. This is actually a cool little bathroom. Nice clawfoot tub. Which I will never throw my mail into again. OK. I got your favorite cake. Blue. I'm not hungry. It's a figure of speech. Obviously, I'll have some. Here are two pictures. One is your locker. The other is a garbage dump in the Philippines. Can you tell which is which? That one's the dump. They're both your locker. God, I should have guessed that. He's good. This folder is labeled undies, comma, dirty. So I won't confuse it with undies, comma, clean. Also, who cares about all these rules? I have more felony arrests than any other detective here. You also have more mice living in your desk than any other detective. <gasps> Algernon! You guys, Algernon's back. Get rid of the mouse and get your act together now. He's grumpy. Here's the plan. We're going to catch this perp. You're going to remember how much you love your job. You're going to skip that interview, and that's a Peralta guarantee. Your last Peralta guarantee was that you could dunk a basketball. I never said I couldn't use a ladder. Peralta guarantee achieved. <laughs> the subtext of the guarantee was that you would be entertained, and you were. Gina, I know you like champagne with a drop of pomegranate juice. I like to say it's nature's classiest alcohol mixed with its nastiest fruit. <laughs> And Peralta, I hope this will do. It's a can of orange soda from when some other children visited. It's perfect. I suppose we could look into it. Yes, great. Let's go right now. No time to lose. Don't look, just run. You're trying to get me out of here before I see the orange soda you spilled on that chair, aren't you? I'm already out the door. It worked. You did it, Fuzzy. You busted him. It's time to come home. I'm not sure if I can. I've been undercover so long. I've forgotten who I am. I have seen terrible things. I haven't known the touch of a woman in many moons. Sorry. Detective Santiago, don't walk away from me. No surprises from the corner. Two gunshots, shoulder and chest. None of the neighbors heard or saw anything. And what's worse, Santiago struck out with a 92-year-old. That is not accurate, sir. Wait, you hooked up with him? Ugh. All right, hit the pawn shops and canvas the neighborhood. And while you're out, you can buy yourself a tie. Oh, actually, sir, I'm wearing a tie right now. Check it out. Secret tie. <laughs> Uh, adult parties? Sergeant, I believe they're called orgies. No look five. Why are there so many rules? I mean, next thing you're gonna say is we can't be late. Yeah, that's like the first thing I said. Ah. Hello, good sir. I'd like your finest bottle of wine, please. That will be $1,600. Great, I'd like your $8-est bottle of wine, please. I guess that's your new best friend now, Santiago. Emphasis on Iago, backstabber. I'm surprised you've read Othello. What the hell's Othello? I'm calling you the parrot from Aladdin. I think I just figured something out. I gotta go. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh. No, pay your bill! Damn, who raised you? Uh, wait, where's Jake? Well, there's a TV card suspiciously in the middle of the room. That ceiling tile is out of place, and he said he was going to hide somewhere reckless, so. I'm guessing he's up there. That's right, Amy, I'm in the ceiling. Unlike you boring old fogies, I found the craziest... <laughs> ah. Don't worry. My bones and ribs broke my fall. I'm just some boring, responsible guy that's about to lose our car. You're still pretty irresponsible. You're just saying that because you're my wife. No, I'm not. Yesterday, you took the batteries out of our smoke detector to put in your big mouth billy bass. You noticed. Yeah, in a bad way. We're gonna take a trip as soon as we have time, I promise. Just like you promised we would see the Bumblebee movie? I didn't promise that. I believe what I said was, isn't that a kid's movie? Yeah, and I believe what I said was, it's for teens. <laughs> Here's a list of everything you cannot eat while we're trying to conceive. No more nachos? Even if they're in a novelty baseball helmet? No. Whoa. This is serious. We will adhere to a strict exercise regimen and sleep schedule. Also, no more video games because they cause stress and they raise your heart rate. More stress than being a police officer? Jake, I've seen you play Mario Party. Wario cheats! I'm just saying, but Wario cheats is a stupid game. What's up, Peralta? Captain called. He needs everybody back. There's a lead on the Nightingale Strangler. We're looking for a white male, 5'10", medium build, brown hair. Small scar on his right cheek. 
Okay. His MO is he finds lonely women with no friends, poisons their food, and then guts them in his van. It's pretty gnarly. Last seen wearing a salmon shirt, gray blazer, and witnesses have said he has trouble fitting lettuce in his mouth. Okay, where are you? Apparently has the world's smallest penis and doesn't know how to use it. Hi there, I'm Jake Peralta, Amy's boss. That's not true. What are you doing here? I am here on a date. Who is now leaving? Worth it. Have a great night. Your boss seems really nice. He's not my boss. Yes, I am. So you were just borrowing those cars? Ask about his bank account. Ask about his bank account. Ask him about his bank account. You should ask him about his bank account. Captain, Santiago broke the glass. So I'm just going to grab a healthy breakfast. Are those gummy bears wrapped in a fruit roll up? Breakfast burrito, but yeah. I pity your dentist. Ah. Joke's on you, I don't have a dentist. Now I have a question for you. Is there any way I can borrow $430,000? Why on earth do you need that much money? I need to buy my apartment. I've been living at my Nana's place since she passed away because it's rent controlled, but now the building's going co-op, so I have to buy it. I need to secure a loan by the end of the day. Uh, so should we do a wire transfer or do you think cash is easier? Let's just do cash. Shouldn't you be asking somebody else for that kind of money? Like a bank? Yeah. I tried that. <laughs> hey, Captain. So you found something? Hey, I like the tie. If you can't beat him, join him. Anyway, I think I got something good here. Turns out the name Radco is made up, but I was digging through these files, one of which I literally found in a spider web. And it turns out there were a bunch of references to a Serbian thug, street names The Rat and the Butcher, who's known to hang out at a storage unit near Borum Park, which has red soil, hence the muddy red footprint on Morgenthau's counter. That's fine work, detective. Thank you very much, sir. Testament to what can be achieved when you dress appropriately. Let's pound it out. You know what? Such fine police work. Let's share it with the whole team. Santiago, Boyle, Diaz, get in here. Bring everyone. And a camera. That's not necessary. Let's have a hand oh, for the here. work of the fine master detective, Jake Peralta. Oh. Yeah, let's have a hand, everyone. Give him a hand. Yeah, nice. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. That's how we do it in the 99, sir. Catch bad guys and look good doing it. What's wrong with you? Never took off the Speedo. Big mistake. It is inside me. Great work, team.